Alright, so this is how to find all the zeros of f of x equals x cubed minus 5x squared plus 8x minus 6. And to begin, first we need to find out what the possible zeros are using the rational zeros theorem, which is just um, all the factors of your least term. So it's going to be factors of negative 6 over all the factors of your greatest coefficients term, which is just x cubed. And that's going to give you, and because it's, it's x cubed, which is just, it's factors of 1, um, I'm just going to take all the factors of negative 6, which is plus and minus uh, 1, 2, 3, and 6. And now, using synthetic division to test out uh, which one will work, or which one is a factor, um, I already know that x minus 3 is going to be a factor, but I'll just use synthetic division to figure out what it simplifies to. Let's bring this down. Negative 2, negative 6, 2, 6. And because the remainder is 0, it concludes that it is a factor. Bring these up, it's going to be x squared minus 2x plus 2. Alright, so now you're left with x minus 3 and x squared minus 2x plus 2. Now this needs to factor into smaller terms, and to do that I'm going to use the quadratic formula. So, hopefully you know how to use the quadratic formula. It's going to be 4, minus 4, and then 2, which is going to be negative 8, is over, is 2. This is going to simplify to uh, 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 4 over 2. Uh, this term right here, the square root of negative 4, is going to simplify to uh, 2, just 2i. Two and it's over 2. And then these all cancel out, the 2's. So just left with 1 plus or minus i. So to write this, or alright, so now now I do have all the zeros, and then x minus 3, the zero is gonna be 3, and then these two are the other zeros. So the zeros are 3, 1 plus i, and 1 minus i. And that's it.